Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. My name is Ryan and today I'm going to be reviewing a beer from the Great Divide Brewing Company and they are based out of Denver, Colorado. And this is their Pumpkin Spice Yeti. This is a tall can. Hard for me to get it all in the picture here. but definitely some interesting can art here. All right, always check for a Candon. Hey, it does have a Candon date. This is 7-20-23. Puts this, ah, just under two months old. Uh, however, this is a Imperial Stout with coffee and spices, therefore we should be absolutely fine. Uh, what else can I tell you? One pint and 3.2 fluid ounces or 568 mils. This comes in at 9.5% ABV. Has a nice little spiel here in the back. When the air gets crisp and the foliage turns brilliant shades of red and orange, the Yeti yearns for a libation that captures the quintessential flavors of fall, rich and roasty with added layers of decadent sweetness. Pumpkin Spice Yeti is brewed with seasonal spices and a unique selection of coffee from our friends at Pablo's Coffee. Pairs perfectly with hay rides, pumpkin carving, and leaf peeping. <laughs> right on, right on, right on. Let's get into it. 9.5%, that's quite the can. I'm in for a good night, as long as it tastes good. Hopefully I like it. <clears throat> Although I have heard some good things about this from fellow beer tubers. Wow. Yeah, that is as dark as the night. Um, that's just straight up black. Straight up black with a finger and a half of tan Yeah, tan, uh, soap sudsy, tight head. When I hold it up, I know you can't necessarily see, but if I hold it up way up onto this uh, extremely bright, blinding LED light, at the bottom here I'm getting tinges of a amber ed, uh, amber red. I don't know who Amber and Ed are, but anyway, I'll give you a quick up close using my Southern Tier Warlock glass for this. You can probably see a little bit that the head is a tannish color. All right, let's get a nose on her. <sighs> Definitely a roasty maltiness as well as a roasty coffee. Uh, did this say, yeah, Imperial Stout with coffee and spices. And everything I just said, Pablo's coffee. I'm gonna talk about short term memory loss. I got it. Mm. Yeah, that smells really good. Uh, so again, you know, um, roasty malts and 
definitely uh, roasted coffee. Getting a tinge of the pumpkin spices, the cinnamon and nutmeg, I would say. Um, but I'm not getting any pumpkin, um, and the spices, like I said, very, very subtle. Just a tinge. Let's uh, dive in, shall we? Cheers. Higher side of medium body. It is smooth. Maybe slightly, slightly creamy. You get a bit of the booziness on this, uh, 9.5%. Just a touch. It hides it fairly well, though, I will uh, say. Um, but it leaves a, a bit of booziness on the tongue, slight warming in the chest. I'm seeing it's leaving some nice uh, alcohol legs on the glass here, a bit of lacing. So I'm getting roasted coffee up front, and then I'm follow. It's followed by the uh, cinnamon and, and nutmeg. Those are. That's all I'm getting in terms of the pumpkin pie spices. Yeah, it's a nice dark roastiness. The the, the coffee is there. You have a subtle amount of the pumpkin spices, the cinnamon, the nutmeg. I don't know if I'm getting much of any, if any, pumpkin. I'm going to go ahead and say I'm not getting any pumpkin. With that said, it says stout with coffee and spices. It doesn't say pumpkin. So maybe that's that's why I'm not getting pumpkin. It's it's a good stout for sure. Um, I I like I, I think I would like the base beer. And I also like the addition of the spices, but again the spices are rather subtle. And I'm not getting any pumpkin. And I have had this out of my fridge now warming up uh, probably for, I'll say, a half hour since it was such a large can. I wanted to make sure it warmed up a little bit. All right. Great Divide Brewing Company based out of Denver, Colorado. They're Pumpkin Spice Yeti. Uh, I'm going to give this a straight, nope, nope, no, I'm not. I'm going to give this a 3.8. I'm going to give this a 3.8 out of 5. Uh, great stout. Uh, certainly the base beer is there. It's a, it, it's a great stout, uh, but it's going for pumpkin spice. Uh, I want pumpkin. I'm not getting any pumpkin. And the spice is rather subtle. Um, so that's, I gotta be honest, that's my review. So that's it for this video. Hit that like button, hit the subscribe button, and comment down below. Let me know, have you had Pumpkin Spice Yeti from the Great Divide Brewing Company? And if you did, what did you think of it? Until next time, peace.